Ever fancied yourself as the new Walt Disney? This innovative project created by producer Jessica Langford has enabled children from schools over Scotland to create their very own animated film. Jessica has captured the imagination of children from five village schools, from the Shetlands to Kinloch Bervie, through Winchborough and West Lothian, to Turbolton in Ayrshire, down to the borders village of Caddenfoot. The idea is that these films should be almost like a tapestry of just little glimpses of very different ways of life in these different parts of Scotland. To Bolton Primary School pupils didn't have far to look for inspiration, with Ayrshire's farming and famous poetic traditions. Obviously Robert Burns is, you know, the main, is a very important theme. And so I thought, well, if we could go to some of the farms where he used to live and work and take the children to those farms and they could draw what the farms are like now and learn about farming now and compare it to how his life was, um, maybe the children could write their own poems and then once we've got their poems we could start writing the story and see how a structure would develop. I like the way you've done the curly bits. It's very nice. They learn about timing and movement and uh, they do they always end up doing, doing a bit more maths than they think are going to be involved in this. What I want you to look at on the camera, I don't know if you can see this, up at the top here, can you see this? Uh, this is a dial, this is a frame counter, and we calculate how many seconds we've done by how many frames in a second? That would be that one. How many frames in one second? 24. If we've got 156 frames, we'd have to think how many times 24 would go into 156, wouldn't we? Yes. That's so, about six, yes. Mm -hmm. Six times 24 is? 144. Yes. So we've got six and a half seconds. And that's what you filmed this morning. I know it's taken an hour, but we've actually got six and a half seconds on the film. This is our storyboard. This is how we worked out the scenes for the film. They write the dialogue, they do the pictures in storyboarding, they're very aware of the image and the soundtrack going along parallel to each other. Um, they learn basic film language, like, let's do a close-up of this, we could have a wider shot of that. This is the background for the Bachelors Club, for one of the scenes in the film. I'm working the close-up of Farnham, the farmer's wife. And the farmer's wife is feeding the cows, not the sheep. They work together when they're filming. Somebody will be using the camera, somebody will be animating, and then they all move around. So they all have a turn at doing everything. The parent has come back from the labs and now we're ready to watch it for the first time. When the children see the film for the first time, it, it, you can feel the tension in the room because they've spent two or three weeks working with the camera under the lights and moving these characters tiny bit by tiny bit. So to suddenly see them, these characters that they've all made and all worked on, moving, I mean, it, it's, it's magic. I mean, it's just no other word for it. It's completely magical. Now that we've watched the film, it's time to put the same tack on. Tarbolton animation film, take one. <sighs> oh, no. Time to get up, and it's my turn to do the milking. Come on, Truxy. Stand still, Daisy. That's a lot of milk, Bluebell. You're doing well today. <sighs> Raining again. Drip, drip, drip. And now that moment of truth every filmmaker fears. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 With the piano, with the cow playing the piano. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the premiere of our film, The Bad's Farmyard. It all started on Monday the 13th of January. When Jessica and Mary arrived, they showed us some animation films that other children had made. Jessica explained to us what an animation was all about. We made pictures to go into a saw troll. A solar trope is a cylinder with slits in it, and when you spin it around, the still pictures inside it come alive and move. Jessica and Mary helped us make an animation film which we starred in. It looked as if lots of children suddenly started to come out of a cardboard box. 
We got a chance to work the camera too. My group made a short film which looked as if we were all sliding across the floor in our bottoms, our backs and our stomachs. And it looked as if Andrew and I were spinning in the middle of the floor. And now the moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. Sit back and enjoy the Bard's Farmyard. It's my turn to do the milking. Come on, Trixie. Raining <laughs> again. Drip, drip, drip. I wish you'd fix that roof. Aren't men the window? There's a terrible draft in here. Mm. Stand still, Daisy. Well done, Bluebell. That's a lot of milk. You're doing well today. Right, there you are, girls. That's you finished. Off you go now. I'm going in for my breakfast. How are the cows this morning? All right, but that old cow's shed needs fixing. Even the cows are complaining. We need a new milking parlour. That would cost a fortune. <laughs> Thanks, Trixie. Wonder what's in the paper this week. Any news? Wow, Robert Burns poetry competition. First prize, a million pounds. I could buy a brand new tractor and we could build a new barn and a milking parlour. And we could go and hold it. Costa del Sol, here I come. <coughs> come on, no more time for dreaming. The cows need mocked out and the sheep need feeding. Here's your breakfast. Hey you, don't be so greedy. Any ideas for a poem? It's too difficult. Nah. If only Robert Burns was here, nah. he'd have a good idea. Nah. Nah. We could write the poem. If Robert Burns came back today, he'd be in for quite a fright. His red Ayrshire cows of Lockley Farm have changed to black and white. Mmm. Nay, and if we tried to melt these cows, we wouldn't have a clue. Meow, meow. Cause automatic crystals and red purples are on you. Move. That's brilliant. We've got a poem. It's even rhymes. Come on, Trixie. Let's go to the post and send it off. <laughs> Here we are. Well, there it goes. Keep your paws crossed, Trixie. Here you are. Here's a breakfast. Don't push. Telegram Express. Oh, a telegram. I wonder what it is. Congratulations, you've won first prize. The award ceremony is on the 25th of January at the Tabotan Bachelors Club. Whoa, Doogie, look, we've won the poetry competition. Brilliant. We can all go to the award ceremony together. Gentlemen and animals, it gives me great pleasure to present the first prize for the Rabbi Burns Poet Competition to Lock Clee Fan. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Rody. We hope everyone will come to our party and have a jolly good time.
The premiere over, it's time to give the audience, and indeed all the contributors, a cup of tea and a glimpse of what filmmaking is all about. The Shetland Film Project was based in a small village school in Ollaberry in the north of Shetland, one of the islands, and there were two other schools involved, and the children were bussed in daily to participate in this project. And the project started with the children telling me about Shetland, um, about images of Shetland, what's special about Shetland, what do you have here? And of course they've got wonderful language, I mean their, their, their accents were great and we were looking at the words and piri man, you know, and all these expressions they have, which is a great sense of humour. And some of the children play the fiddle very well, so we've used the fiddle and we've tried to, I've tried to use and bring into the film the children's different skills and ideas and abilities. Winchborough is right in the heart of the oil shale mining area. There are bings all around it. And uh, the first thing we did really was to invite in some of the elderly people who had been working in the oil shale industry. And, and they were just wonderful and they came in and talked to the children about their lives. So this is all part of the research of the project. And then we put the story together from there. Brian, look at that greedy duck, he's eating all my bread. That's a cheeky little one, it's chasing all the others. Look, the swans are coming, have you got any bread left? No, it's all gone. What shall we do now? We could go and pull up the thing. Good idea, race it to the top. Yeah, that was hard. Look, 
We can see our Winsboro from up here. There's the Edinburgh train and the allotments. Yeah, you can see the rows. There's our house, the one with the red door. And there's Uncle Davy in his new car. There's the canal. The ducks are still there. I can see Nidry Castle and some tourists playing golf. And there's Bill and wee Jamie at the bowling club. Come on, let's play hide and seek. I'll count you hide. OK, but as long as you don't cheat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ryan, where are you? Stop joking. If you don't come out, I'm good. It looks like a little mine shaft. Oh, what's this? Mmm, it's a cheese piece. Someone's left their flask. Shh, I can hear someone coming. Hey, what are you two doing here? Jimmy, Johnny, come and look at this. We've got visitors. We fell down the mine shaft. I'm Ryan Doherty, and this is Sarah, my sister. Well, I'm George Doherty. You must be my grandchildren. Well, when I was your age, life was a wee bit different. I remember my mother in the kitchen, cooking porridge on the range. We always had porridge in the winter. It was so thick, you could cut it with a knife. Me and my three brothers, we all slept in the box bed. It was very cramped. The warmest place was in the middle. I remember father coming back from working shifts down the shale mine. He'd have his bath in the kitchen. I used to scrub his back. When I was 14, I left school and went down the pit. Oh, it was dirty, dangerous work. But we were like a big family. Some of the pit ponies came from Ireland. I knew a man who had a pony called Paddy. He used to feed it sugar lumps. I worked hard all week. And I always look forward to Saturdays. I played in Windsor Brass Band. Gala Day was the best. Everyone dressed up and we had a grand day. When I was 21, I met Lizzie. She worked in the co-op. I used to buy my baccy there once a week. Oh, Lizzie, she was a bony lass. A right Bobby Dazzler. We had a wonderful wedding. All of Windsor came. Soon we had a big family. The older Waynes helped look after the wee ones. I worked down the shale mine for 30 years. They burnt the shale to make oil and paraffin. All of Wingra worked in the shale industry. It was hard, dusty work. We worked long shifts and there weren't many holidays. One day I was too well to go to work. Lizzie looked after me the best she could. And the doctor came, but it was no good. I was finished at 50. They couldn't get the coffin round the door, so they took it out through the window. Aye, but it was hard on the family. It's been great meeting you, Grandad. We'll always remember you. Well, I have a wee present for you, Waynes. GD stands for George Doherty. Wow, it's a real gold watch. It still works. Six o'clock, time you are getting home. Your mother will be wondering where you are for your tea. Come on, Sarah, you hop on to Paddy. And Ryan, jump in the hutch. Up you get. Come on, Paddy. Gee up. Off we go. Cheerio, lad. Take care now. Well, it's time you were on our way too. Come on, then. It's the old secret tunnel by Nidra Castle. Grandad, why don't you come home with us? Well, I've got to stay here, but I'll be thinking of you. Goodbye, my dears. God bless. <gasps> Ryan, he's gone. 
Come on, let's go home and tell Mum that we've met our great, great grandfather. Yeah, and wait till she sees this gold watch. My name is Debbie Sullivan. My great, great granddad used to work down the mines and he stopped the hutches and he broke his thumb, but my granddad said that he had to still keep on going. My name is Lynn Portis and my great uncle was the blacksmith for Winsborough. Well, my dad was a miner. He worked up at Duddingston and we lived in the main street in Winsborough and we were in the upstairs, a room and kitchen. Now, there was the mum and dad and six of their family. Mum and dad, they lived in, as you call, the box bed. The six of us lived in, in the bedroom, the double bed for four boys, which was two up, two down, and the single bed for the girls. Well, I'm Mr. Al McKenzie. I was a fitter in the local oil works. I started my apprenticeship when I left the school at the age of 14. and I'd done 37 years service with the company. My whole family in its time was employed by the company. We must have had 100 odd years service in the family. One film that's been made in Kinloch Vervey in the north is to do with the Kelpie. And a lot of the children had some very strange, mysterious experiences on Sandwood Bay, which is this wonderful stretch of beach just up in the north near Kinloch Vervey. Before. Me neither. I'll make a fire and we can have a cup of tea. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Can you get the mugs out, maybe? Oh, and the tea bags, please. <laughs> Good boy. Go and get some more. <laughs> can you pass me the saucepan over? Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> here you are. And here's the matches. Hello, girls. You've picked a nice day for it. Oh, my, though. Where did you get that wood from? It's off the beach, drift. Oh, I wouldn't use that wood. Some folks say it's unlucky. Strange things are supposed to happen when you burn it. Oh no, Joan. Maybe we shouldn't light one then. Don't be daft, it'll be alright. It'll clean again. Joan, where are you? I'm scared. It'll be all right. <laughs> Mary, look at this. A white horse. Hello, boy. Mary, have we got any bread? It might let me ride it. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, no, Joan. Where are you? I'm scared. <laughs> Help! Mary, I can't stop it. Joan! Joan! Stop! Come back! Wait! Help! 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 Oh, no! <coughs> oh, Drift, what are we going to do? <coughs> Maybe someone in here can help us. Hello? Help! Hey, now, what's the matter there? My friends disappeared in a big white horse. It turned green and galloped away with Joan into the sea. <gasps> That's no horse. That's a kelpie. We'll need some extra help to catch that one. Here, it's a special shark's tooth. It'll protect us. Come on then, we'll find her. Don't worry. <laughs> what are you? Why have you brought me here? I am the sad Kelpie of Sand and Bay. For many years I've been this way. Find the shark's tooth to set me free. If I had time, I'd be with me. <laughs> oh no! What am I going to do? How will I find the shark's tooth? <laughs> what is this horrible place? <laughs> I have to find a shark's tooth before high tide, or I'll become a Kelpie too. I'll help you. I can take you back. Now don't be frightened. Take my hand. I'll help you.
thank you for rescuing me. You'll be safe now. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I'll always remember you. Hey, Mary, look, it's me. Joan, Joan, oh, thank goodness. Where did you go? The Kelpie took me under the sea to a shipwreck. It was horrible. You were lucky to escape. Oh, no, what's happening? Oh, no, watch out. Stand back, girls. Quick, the shark's tooth. Look, the Kelpie's changing. Angus, my son, I thought you drowned. Father, father, I, I can't believe it. I thought I'd never see you again. Well, it's all thanks to these two girls. Yes, I don't know how to thank you. Here, keep this charm as a reminder. Don't, don't worry, worry. We'll, we'll never forget Sam would be. One of the films that's been made has been made down in the borders in a small primary school at Caddenfoot Primary School near Gala Shields. And in that film, we've explored um, the sheep farming and life of the shepherd and also the textile industry. Stand still, Wooly. I've nearly finished. Bah! Bah! Aye, she looks a real winner. You've got a good chance of winning at the show tomorrow. Well, it's Wooly's first show. I want her to look her best. Her mother was a great prize winner, the wooliest sheep in the borders. Well, come on, lad. You've got an early start tomorrow. You need a good night's sleep. Good night, Wooly. Sleep well. Big day tomorrow. Bah! Ba ba Ruff ruff Good boy Ted you keep guard of Wooly I don't want her stolen Ruff 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 Boy Ted, you're a good guard dog. Ruff, ruff, ruff. <coughs> Is that a prize winning sheep? Ha! I could do better. Good morning, Willie. Come on, time to go. Uh, oh no, what's uh, happened? Where's uh, your wool? Look, uh, tell him, someone's stolen uh, their fleece. Uh, That's very strange. The same thing happened to my father's sheep. It was a midsummer's night and full moon, and his prize sheep was sleeping in the barn. Maybe it was the wee folk who took Willie's fleece. But what are we going to do? We can't take her to the show like this. Bah! Bah! Look, what's that bottle over there? Magic wool grow. Pour on sheep, then wait and see. 
Ba ba. Try it out. It might work. Ba ba. Stand still, Wooly. Ba ba. Oh no, nothing's happening. Let's go to the show anyway. We'll have a good day out. Welcome to Kangaroo Sheep Show. All competitors for the Wooly Sheep Competition, please line up in the ring. Judging is about to commence. Ba 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 ba. Me me ba ba. Me me ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ah, jolly good. This is the wooliest sheep I've ever seen. Congratulations. Well done, lad. That will grow work just in time. Congratulations. The Golden Sheep Award for the Wooliest Sheep goes to Wooly of Thorny Lee Farm. Ba ba ba. because they've got lots of ideas. It's very refreshing and they've got so much energy and enthusiasm and imagination and that's just great to work with.